Hi, my name is Wes Ely, and I'm an ICU physician at the Vanderbilt University Medical Center in the Nashville VA. And I'm here to talk about the dilemma of delirium in the intensive care unit and two new studies that have been published helping us to understand how to better care for the patients. People who develop delirium in the ICU are experiencing the strongest predictor of all of death, length of stay, cost of care, and even an acquired dementia that patients get after having experienced ICU delirium. We just completed two investigations, one called the Mind USA study and one called ICU Liberation. And I'm going to tell you what our questions were, how we answered them, and what we found. In the Mind USA study, the question was, do antipsychotics improve patients' delirium? And for nearly a half a century, doctors and nurses all over the world have been treating patients who have ICU delirium with antipsychotics like Haldol. We got funding from the National Institute of Health and randomized hundreds of patients in a phase three study to understand whether or not these antipsychotics, having been used for 40 years in hospitals all over the world, were doing anything to improve patients' health, and they are not. We found after this extensive investigation with dozens of medical centers all over the country, and having been done over about six or seven years, that the patients who get these potentially dangerous drugs are not experiencing any improvements whatsoever in delirium, coma, length of stay, survival, or any of these outcomes. This ties in beautifully with the second investigation, which is the ICU Liberation Collaborative, which was put on by the Society of Critical Care Medicine. In this investigation, we used a safety bundle, much like what your airplane pilots use to help you get safely to your destination. This safety bundle is called the A2F bundle, or the ABCDEF bundle. And you can read about it on the website at icudelirium.org, but the details are that we try and provide the least amount of sedation to keep people safe and comfortable in the ICU, while also managing their delirium involving their families, getting them mobilized and walking around. And in 15,000 patients at 70 medical centers across the United States, we proved that better compliance with this ABCDEF bundle actually saved lives, reduced the length of stay, a lot less delirium and coma, less bounce backs to the hospital, and less likely to be transferred to nursing homes. So taken together, these two investigations, the Mind USA study, and the ICU Liberation Collaborative, published in October of 2018, have now helped us to streamline the best way to care for critically ill patients in the ICU, and we are really happy to provide this information to all of you out there. Thank you so much.